Hi, this is Monica from Unique Designs by Monica and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this donut on Cricut Design Space using basic simple shapes. So let's get started. So let me highlight everything here and delete. So what we're going to be using is a circle and we're not manipulating um, into an oval or anything so I don't need to touch this um, unlock space. Now anything that you create you're going to be creating a layer over here and I didn't say that in my ice cream video so I just want to let you guys know if you weld anything or if you um, manipulate anything uh, and it's stuck together it will create only one layer but if you make multiple layers it the machine will consider it as you have several layers that need to be cut out so let's keep that in mind so this is our circle right here and let's change the color to brown hmm it's a little dark brown so let's make it a little lighter and I'm under advanced so if I move my my little cursor here it's gonna give you these little numbers so if you want a specific color there's a website that's gonna be linked down below that you can use uh, for specific colors that you're looking for so there we go we have the bases and now we're gonna duplicate this cut and duplicate we're just going to make this a smaller one. Now I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to go under a line and then I'm going to center this. And that's going to take it oop, right to the left. And let's center this again. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, wrong center. <laughs> there's two centers on here it says center horizontally and then center vertically I needed to do both in order to get it in the middle so I'm gonna highlight everything again and then I'm gonna slice it now I'm not gonna get rid of this circle because we're gonna need this circle again but we will not need this one so let's get rid of that now let's do on the the top layer the whatever frosting we're gonna be using so for the for that portion we're going to I'm going to use a star. And I'm, all I'm going to do is try to make it cover as much of the the donut as possible so from point to point. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to overlap it to its original state and then I'm going to just move it. Okay, once I have it that way, I'm going to select all of it and weld. Let's make this topping strawberry. All right, so now that's our strawberry. I'm going to bring back the circle and I'm going to put it to the front. So now we're only working on this layer, which is the strawberry portion and the center. So let's select both. And then I'm going to go back to the align. I'm going to center it, center it horizontally and vertically. So now I know it's right in my middle. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it. Okay, I'm going to take that portion off, delete it since I don't, I no longer need it, and that one. As you can see from the inside, it's not aligned perfectly with the donut, but there you go. Now, now it perfectly is. So what's a donut without some sprinkles? So we're going to do square sprinkles. And this one, we are going to change the, the size of it. So I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to make rectangles, small little rectangles. And for this, I'm only going to make three. And I'm going to change the position that they're in. And I'm doing this deliberately because sprinkles don't all set the same. All right, this one I'm going to change it to say blueberry, pumpkin, and let's do grape. All right, with that, I'm gonna duplicate, duplicate it again. And this time I'm just gonna, oop, I didn't mean to do that. This time I'm just going to highlight all of these 
and change the position that they're in. Copy and paste, move it over. So I can start putting these on here now. Move these over. Now if you find that you don't have enough sprinkles, all you have to do is just copy. Let's move these together. And start building from there. If you find that they're too close together, you can always rotate them so they're not right on top of one another. And then so they're two, let's do that a great. You can keep adding more or less depending on how filled you want these to be. You can even have these overlapping to give it a sense of realism like that. And that's it. You're done. You have yourself a nice little donut. Now you can always go a little further. You can group all this together, but just keep in mind that every single thing that you're doing, it's creating a light layer here. So when you cut these out, all of these layers are going to be showing up. But let's just say you wanted to make yourself something unique. All right, let's move this back. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Let's move this back again. There you go. Now you can make yourself a nice little Disney t-shirt. Just using basic shapes on the uh, Cricut Design Space. Thank you so much for stopping on by. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Hit that like, so, um, it really helps me out. And if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification button to let you know when I, I'm uploading a new video. Thank you so much. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.